Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Crack Concepts. Today we will be solving another SQL lead code. Make sure you check out the playlist. I will be uploading a lot more lead code solutions in that playlist. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you never miss any video from this channel. And with that, let's begin with the video. So today's question is, in, we need to find out employees earning more than their managers. Well, I'm not sure if this is ever possible, but let's solve this query. This is our table. We have these columns, ID, name, salary, and manager ID. Manager ID, as the name suggests, would have the ID of the manager. And ID would have IDs of all the employees. So the manager ID can also be in ID. What I mean here is, one sec, let me show this example over here. So this is our example table over here. We have these four IDs, one, two, three, four. And these are the names, these are the salaries, and these are the manager IDs. So for employee ID one for Joe, manager ID is three, which will be here as well. So manager ID can also be here because manager is also an employee right which is why if we want to find out who is the manager of joe we need to find it from the very same table if we had to find out the manager of a particular employee we had to use self join we had to join this table to itself in order to find the manager in this question also we will be using self join for id 1 joe manager id is 3 and who is manager id 3 so manager id 3 id 3 over here name is sam so joe's manager is sam for id 2 henry henry's manager has manager id 4 which will be in the id column as well whose name is max so sam's manager is max now we need to write a query to find out if there are any employees who earn more than their managers. How can we find that? First, let's try to figure that out from the sample table. Joe's manager is Sam. Joe's salary is 70,000 and his manager's salary is 60,000, which is less than Joe. Hence, Joe earns more than his manager. How did we find that out? What we did is for ID 1, Joe, manager ID is three we then checked in the very same table we used the manager id and we checked in the same table to find out manager id three salary which is sixty thousand. so what we did is we joined using manager id and id and we joined the same table this is known as self join this is exactly what we need to do in this question we need to join this table to itself once we will consider it as employee table and the second table will be used to find out manager data let's write the query our output just needs employee column so select name as employee from this table employee and since we need to join it to itself let's give it an alias e join the very same table again and let's give it an alias m because now we need to find out the manager data so i'm using the alias m we are joining these tables on e dot manager id is equal to m dot id because we are joining suppose we are calculating for this first record suppose this is e so e dot manager id and then we are joining it to the same table again where m dot id id will be joined id will be used to join manager id so it should be e dot manager id is equal to m dot id 
where E dot salary is greater than M dot salary. So suppose this is E. E dot manager ID is equal to M dot ID. E dot salary is greater than M dot salary. Let's run this. We got this error column name and field list is ambiguous. Reason being we are joining two tables and both the tables are same employee and employee. So the select statement does not know which employee table it needs to pick up the column name from. So it doesn't know whether it needs to pick up name from employee E or employee M. So we need to use this E dot name. And now when we run it, it is accepted. Let's submit this. and it has been submitted. I hope that was clear. This is a great example to understand self-join. So self-join is whenever one table is joined to itself. This is a very great example whenever employee and manager data is in the very same table and you need to find something like this where the salary is same or, or whenever you want to find the manager data of the employee and it is, it is in the very same table you use cell join so this is a great example i hope this was clear please like the video and comment down more suggestions subscribe to the channel hit the notification button check out our sql ebook and also check out our other playlist check out the lead code playlist i will be adding a lot more queries over there thank you so much for watching